Hi, in this video I'll show you how to calculate theoretical spot rate curve of provided yield to maturity values. In this example, you've got a six months and one year treasury bill rates that are correspondingly 4.1% and 4.7%. And you've got a yield curve that has values for one and a half year term to maturity and two year term to maturity given in the table. The price for each issue in this example is $100. In other words, each bond here is trading at par. We need to calculate the corresponding theoretical spot rates for one half year and two year term to maturity respectively using the bootstrapping method. In order to calculate this spot rate, we need to use the step-by-step -step method. First you calculate, for example, for one and a half years, then you use this number to calculate for two years. So let me show you. Notice that the yield to maturity here, yield to maturity of 5.4% corresponding to one and a half year term to maturity means that the coupon is also 5.4% because the bond is trading at $100. Therefore, we can actually conveniently construct the following equation. Since these are semi-annual periods, we need to take half of 5.4. So it's going to be basically 5.4 5 divided by 2 over 1 plus, again, we need to take half of the given yield. So it's going to be half of 0.04.1. Okay. And because it's only a six month period, we only raise it to the first power plus, again, 5.4 divided by 2, 1 plus, this, the, the, the rate that you need here is 0 0.047 divided by 2, again, raised to the second power. So you need to take the square of that. Plus, now the final third period is going to be basically 100, the principal value, plus 5.4, divided by 2 over now here we don't have that number so that's what we're solving this equation for let's say it's x so x over 2 to the third power that should equal to 100 because the price of this bond that has a 5.4 percent yield to maturity also has 5.4 percent coupon so that's what it means so the sum of these three separate packages of cash flow should equal to 100. So when we solve this um, equation, and you know how you know how you can solve it basically, so 102.7 over 1 plus x over 2 to the cube, that equals to 100 minus 2.7 2.7 over, I think this is going to be 1.0205, right? So minus 2.7 divided by 1.0235, I think, to this second power. So this is going to be, if we calculate, let me calculate it quickly, 2.7 divided by minus 2.7 divided by it's going to be 94.72 94.72 roughly okay so what we need to do is we need to find x here okay so 1 plus x over 2 to the cube equals 102.7 divided by 94.72 and that's going to be roughly we calculate going to be 1.0843 so basically x over 2 is going to be third root of 1.0843 
minus 1. And we can actually find x from here. And that's going to be basically 5.0.0547, roughly, or 5.47%. Okay? So we found the corresponding theoretical spot rate for one half year term to maturity. Now, what we need to do is we need to find the two year spot rate. And we're going to use this number. We're going to use this number in, when, in our calculations. Now we're going to use this value in calculating the two-year spot rate. Okay? In two-year spot rate, the coupon is 6.1%. So we need to keep that in mind. So the, the cash flow is not going to be 2.7 here. It's going to be basically half of this. It's going to be 3.05 or something. Okay? So we're going to use that in the calculation. So basically half of six six point one divided by two that is over we're going to use the same discount rate of course okay plus six point one divided by two or one point oh two three five squared plus six point one over two divided by now we need to use the number that we just found and that is 2.73% so I'm going to put it here it's going to be 0 0.274 okay roughly to the cube plus 100 plus 6.1 divided by 2 divided by 1 plus, say I put y, divided by 2 to the fourth degree, that should equal to 100. So we need to solve for y, okay, in this example. All right, so let me just take out my calculator and calculate quickly, all right? 103.05 divided by 1 plus y divided by 2 to the 4th power equals 91.29 roughly okay and from here from here we can then work out the value for y 1 plus y over 2 equals square fourth root of 103.05 divided by 91.29 okay so let's see what we get here y over 2 equals 1.0308 minus 1 and y will equal to 6.15 percent roughly 6.15 so we got the second spot rate now. Now, one final task that remains here is we need to calculate the arbitrage free value of a two year treasury security with a coupon rate of 3%. So all we need to do is take the cash flow of 3% coupon and then discount it by the rates that we got. So we got six month rate of 4.1%, 12 month rate of 4.7%, one and a half year rate of 5.47% and then the finally two year rate of 6.15%. So all you need to do is put it here and then calculate, okay? So just to make clear that we're answering question B, so I put B here. So 3% coupon means one and a half, okay? Cash flow. So 10205 to the first power plus. 1.5 divided by 1.0235 squared plus 1.5 1.0247 I think to the cube plus finally 
0.5 divided by 1 and I think this rate is going to be 3 um, 7 5 0, 0 7 I think yeah All right, so oh, I forgot to put the fourth degree. Okay, so all we need to do is calculate and then see what we have. Let's say, let me just calculate quickly. Okay, I think the value here is gonna be, found the value, it's gonna be $94.23. So basically, arbitrage free value of the bond price that's, that's priced using those theoretical spot rates is going to be $94.23. Note that we, we've used the theoretical spot rates that we derived based on the yield to maturity values that we were provided. Okay, and that's it basically.